Hey, 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 Grapple Class. How's everybody today? I want to ask you all a question this morning. What if Jesus was a loser? You know, I don't like to use that word loser. Um, I don't believe the Lord likes that word loser when we refer to someone as a loser because none of us are losers. We are all children of God. And God's uh, perfect will and desire for each of us is to come to know him intimately and personally, receive Jesus as our Lord and Savior, and rise above any kind of loser status. So for me, loser, or if someone was a loser, okay, it is not that they are a loser, but a loser mentality. What does that mean? Someone who has a loser mentality would be someone who goes around not thinking of others before himself. Someone with a loser mentality is someone who does not consider other people's feelings. Someone who is only out for themselves. Someone who never amounts to much in their life because they have a loser mentality and they're stuck there. They don't think they could do any better. They don't have the desire to do any better. And they stay stuck in a place of constant mistakes, consequences, and then regret. Listen, Jesus was not a loser. Our key faith foundation today is that Jesus is the biggest winner. Nobody in the history of this earth in any lifetime before today or any other lifetime to come is going to do what Jesus did for us. Jesus is the biggest winner. He went to the cross. He died for our sins. Now Jesus, when he was on this earth ministering and setting up his church and the new covenant in the Lord Father God, Jesus did not have much. He was poor. He went from place to place, took nothing with him but the, the clothing on his body, amen, and his disciples. But what did he take? He took the promises of God everywhere he went. He took the humility, the meekness, the love, and all the fruits of the Spirit that was in him, working through him. No loser in that. Jesus Christ is the author and the finisher of the biggest winner ever the complete opposite of loser guys i hope that you get such great things out of your teaching today i hope you are all doing great can't wait to see you guys let's pray lord father god in jesus mighty name holy spirit we just thank you that you are ever present filling our lives touching our hearts and filling our minds with high thoughts in you lord that our thoughts would be higher than the thoughts of this world that we would never consider anyone a loser especially you lord but that we would look unto others as we look unto ourselves in love in compassion in kindness and with gentleness loving one another lord i pray blessing over every child's um, life right now and their family and I just pray, Lord, that they get so much out of this lesson today that you fill their lives and touch their hearts and that you just fill them with the joy that comes from you, Lord. In uh, Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen. Guys, have a wonderful day and see you soon. Bye.